Now, your home is your castle, whether it's a house, unit, or in this case, a caravan. Many of these long-term park residents have put tens of thousands of dollars into their humble dwellings. Now they're about to lose everything. This is our living nightmare. You know, we're gonna lose our home. It's my dream to live here, and now it's all gone up and smoke, and I've got nowhere to go. Give up Get us it. It's a perfect waterfront location, and for the residents of this caravan park, they've called it home for years, but now they're gearing up for the fight of their life after finding out the state government sold it off to a private company that wants them out. I um, put my life savings into this place, and now it's all gone. What's the process now for you? Don't know. <laughs> Sorry. For 84-year-old Wally Sweetman, the thought of leaving the waterfront caravan park he's called home for the past six years is almost too much to bear. We've got no notice, only... Only an eviction notice? Yeah, three days ago. Uh, what do I do? It's where he hoped to live out the rest of his days. And I can walk here, walk to the doctors, walk to the supermarket and walk out to the beach. But apart from that, I've got no transport. Now Wally, along with other long-term residents, have been given so their marching the orders in the, the cruelest of ways, despite investing tens of thousands of dollars on their homes. How much all up do you think you've invested in this site? I'd say 110, yeah. minimum. Jenny and Graham McCullough also poured their life savings into this piece of paradise. Probably as nice a place as you'd ever want to be. They bought at the Caloundra Waterfront Holiday Park four years ago. Like most of their neighbours, they're on month-to-month -month leases, but were assured it was a solid investment. Unless you did something horrendous, you were assured that you were going to be here mm. at least until the end of the lease that, that South East Queensland Properties had with the Queensland Government. Right. SEQ Properties runs the park, which has always been contentious due to its prime position. Back in 2008, former Premier Anna Bly personally reassured residents they were safe with a 30-year lease issued to SEQ containing a condition it would always remain leasehold land for a caravan park. The site was even heritage listed. Were you guys told that the place had sold? No. Uh no. But under a change of government in 2014, SEQ Properties applied to freehold the land. Their application to buy the site was secretly approved under the current government in 2018 with no community consultation. They sell it and they don't say squeak. The park still has to remain a caravan park, but SEQ wants to make more room for holidaymakers. 23 permanent residents have been told to pack up and leave, but they won't go down without a fight. It's not fair. It's, it's just people with money had no respect for people that don't have any money. Milo Doberlin moved in four years ago. He spent more than $75,000 building an annex to make his van into a home. Come March, he'll be evicted. I, I live on my own at the moment and I enjoy this quality of life and I don't make a lot of money, you know, so it's a good cheap way of living for me. You can't tow this away, can no, you? I can't tow this one, no. No wheels, I've taken the wheel arches out to build the home into a nice home, comfortable home. So you guys are facing losing every cent you've put oh, into everything. it? That's everything. It. In fact, most of the long-term residents being evicted aren't able to tow away their homes. They've been told they can sell them to others for removal or relocate their vans themselves, but to where? Where are we going to move it? I don't own any land and it's going to cost, clear, I've had quotes, fairly close to between 35 and 40,000, to split it into three, take it to a site, and then set it all back up. Michael Chaperon only bought his 18 months ago. He's on the disability support pension. Now, because I've lost 50, four, 50 plus thousand dollars, and wanting to start the, another chapter of my life, it's gonna make things very hard. Since the eviction notices were issued last week, six people have already walked away. Uh, he couldn't sell it, so he just literally threw the keys at the manager and walked away. 
But Jenny is determined to stand up for her rights. The park was historically bequeathed to the government. She's unsure they were legally allowed to sell it. I don't care how long it takes, as long as there's a breath in my body, I will find, find out what those documents said and how legal that land sale was. It's shrouded in a bit of mystery and I, I see this uh, finger pointing at one government to the other government. That doesn't achieve anything for these people. Lawyer Glenn Ferguson from FC Lawyers says the secretive sale by the government raises many questions. Should it have gone out to a tender? Should it have been more widely consulted? And I think that's, that's the concern I see from the, the residents. He says it's a shameful way to treat our elderly. My heart goes out to these uh, poor people in this caravan park. Uh, I think uh, at their twilight years, the uncertainty that surrounds them now is, is, you know, very unacceptable. In a statement, the Queensland government said the owner has a responsibility to ensure that long-term residents have appropriate accommodation. The government will not rest in assisting permanent residents who are losing leases due to the actions of the caravan park. But SEQ claims they were under no such obligation to inform residents. In a statement, they said, while we didn't make an explicit announcement, it was reasonably known. There has never been any explicit or implicit promise of forever homes during our pre-tenancy interviews. SEQ Properties is now planning to bulldoze the site next year to make way for more holiday units. They've told residents they'll waive the to reinstate their sites back to original condition, but will offer no compensation. The dream is over. It'll be just put what you can in the car and go. To date, they've offered no compensation to any residents. Give us compensation! compensation. Yeah, isn't that awful? In that statement, SEQ Properties also says that because those people were on month-to-month -month leases, that the purchase of the land had, and I quote, no specific impact to the residents. I'm not sure how they came to that bizarre conclusion when a bulldozer is involved.